Hey lovelies, here we are back again on the build. It always feels nice to come back here. Alright, today we are going to work on some uh, a residence first. This is one that actually stays in the vertical. Uh, I think that's Sakura plank floors, keeping it light for contrast later. Haha! -ha! Once I figure out what I'm doing. Figured an elevated uh, entry would be nice without just, you know, come in and fall down the stairs. And I think that's Infernal Brick. Because it matches well. I tried to match a good height so that I wouldn't have... So I wouldn't have head scraping ceilings either above or below. Thinking about putting the uh, kitchen under the stairs. Once I get some nice purple highlights, I'm just gonna go with the wall that's out there. It looks nice. The orange won't be visible. Uh, white marble decorated wall. Again, contrasting the stairs. I think that's polished antacite for the ceiling. I really like light colored ceilings, it makes them seem higher. Covering up all the concrete walls, because I can do that now, it's quite nice. Bringing in the wiring. I'm gonna put the, the, the elevated entryway is pretty good. It lets me put, well, the, uh, the furnace at least. Decided on just uh, squeezing in the kitchen underneath the stairs. It's a teeny little space, but it gets the job done. We'll go around and see it here. I didn't think about what could and couldn't be seen. I try to uh, keep crafting tables everywhere I can, and then there's that one like I showed in the one downstairs house that looks like it has cabinets built in, but half the time it's never facing the right way. So I actually found, it, what is it? I think it's a, it's a bibliocraft workbench type thing that allows you to store books on it, and it ends up looking really nice. Unfortunately, you can't take written books on it, it only takes just a plain unwritten book. So, had to rework that a few times. Alright, preventing people from falling. Thought about putting in some shelves and doing candles for light. Tried to figure it out. There was much start and stop with that. But basic little kitchen. There is an exposed carpet block there that's going to drive me nuts forever, but you know what? I'm kind of okay with it. I tried to put shelves in the corner and realized as I went up the stairs I bashed my head on them and that's not really the best way to do it. Uh, I went mahogany. Four top. For stairs, chairs, and all of that. Keeping with the purple motif. Purple, black, white. It works. I don't know why I went with different ceiling upstairs than downstairs. I really don't. I needed this for some reason. It was it was put in to cover up or contain something from the floor above and I don't know what. I didn't punch it out. I just went with it. So that's why I went with this. I might end up changing the andesite ceiling downstairs. Alright, weaseling in a teeny little bathroom. Sorry, no room for a bathtub. It's gonna take... It's gonna be a shower. I find that some objects you can frame and they make a good mirror. Obviously not for literal mirror, but whatever. Close enough. I am gonna fill in the wall. I just figured I'd let you guys see it before I sealed it up. I'm gonna end up with a short little hallway here and a bedroom with a pretty awesome view over there. Did Carpenter's bed so that I could, again, keep the purple motif as well as the mahogany. You can actually dye the beds. Well, it's not really dye. You change the wood texture of the beds to match. Ended up putting a writing table and some bookshelves over in the corner of the bedroom and then walked off, but they were kind of around the corner, so it was hard to see. 
a nice little seating area. If you don't want to sit around at the table, you can come upstairs and hang out. Same kind of railing is downstairs. Couch is built into it. We're just going to roll with it. Keeping the same wall style as downstairs, I just haven't put it in because, you know, it's a little bit hard to get the camera in around. Painting decoration. Move the door. It actually opened up that room a lot. You'll be able to see it later. So a little bit of painting for uh, decor. Got a runner rug on the stairs. Softens it a little bit. I'm okay. I found a chandelier in DecoCraft. Had to rework the table so that it could be somewhat centered. Changed my mind. Added a fridge. Fridge is important. Oh, it's even right at the elevator. That's nice. And... We'll add the label, as if you couldn't guess who it is. And our next place. Somewhere back there was suggested lots of shops and types of things. And I have a produce mart and I have a butcher. I have a bread place. Bread place. Bakery. Proper words. They help. But I had this one that was going to be low to get into and really not grant me a lot of space. Which would be ideal for a shop if I could figure out what I wanted to put in there. But I thought this one was going to be more, uh, more a matter of convenience. Uh, doing a tin ceiling. A lot of old buildings around here actually do uh, press tin tiles up on the ceiling, and it does a really nice pattern. You can find a few buildings that still have them here and there. They're an easy finish, and they look really nice, and they ship really well, because obviously they're flat and they're light. So. So this place, I found out that you could do the trade mats and set them to infinite, so I don't actually have to connect them to anything, so we're just going to capitalize on that. To the left, we got the wall of sandwiches. It's all kinds of varieties of ready-made sandwiches. You just vend and go. That diagonal wall ends up being a vegetarian wall. That column there ends up being the pillar of protein. And where we're standing right now will end up being the breakfast... Not really a breakfast bar, but the breakfast bar. Just a few things with some pancakes and muffins and stuff you can grab. Snuggled right in over there. So that finishes off that shot, but that makes a really weird ceiling downstairs. So we'll do blue to kind of imitate the sky in the garden down there, as well as add a bunch of lights because I really, the glowstone was up really high in the space. And even what I put in, I don't think was enough. So add in much as we can. Brighten it up, see if we can't get things to grow a little bit faster, a little bit taller, a little bit healthier. They're getting a little leggy in the low light. And it's actually not very far away from the other house. You can see the writing table that got put in there, as well as the bookshelves. This is the Bibliocraft bookshelf, so they've actually got books and stories. And the locker for storage. The bedside. I really like paintings. That's all there is to it. So that's the build for today. We're going to do some more next time. Feel free to keep making suggestions. I have plenty of houses lined up and requested. I still could use some shops. So let me know, you guys. Till next time, take it easy.